Okay, so you want to know whether Fanatec warranties are going to be honoured, whether they're valid, whether if you've bought Fanatec products, you're going to be able to get them repaired, whether you should even buy Fanatec products. Well, I've been working really hard for you. Overnight, I reached out to Corsair and I've got answers back on these exact questions, starting with, as a consumer, Fanatec warranties are with Endor AG, which will be liquidated. Does Corsair intend to honour existing valid Fanatec warranties? That's the question that I wrote in my words to them. And Corsair have come back, and they've come back, by the way, with six answers. So I'm going to go through all of them. But Corsair will honour all valid warranties for customers of Fanatec products. I'll say it again. Corsair will honour all valid warranties for customers of Fanatec products. I read all of your comments to my videos on YouTube, and I know so many people, so many of you have questions about warranties. So I wanted to make sure that I got through to Corsair and got that answered for you so you, it can put your mind at ease or you know what to do. So there we go. That's question number one. But I asked a lot more questions on the topics that you've been putting in the comments. Here's question number two. We've seen the statement that Corsair is acquiring the business operation of Endor AG, but also that Endor AG will be liquidated. Does this mean that the Fanatec business and brand are being transferred to Corsair? Okay, that's the question I asked them. Their response. Corsair has acquired the Fanatec brand, product line, assets and people as part of the Endor AG insolvency process. Now I'm going to come on to something that I think we definitely need to mention about this Endor AG. But if you read this wording here, Corsair has acquired the Fanatec brand, product line, assets and people. It doesn't say some of them. It says the, all of the Fanatec brand, we could infer, all of the product line, all of the existing products, all of the unreleased products like the Bentley uh, Fanatec wheel, assets, all of the assets, so um, intellectual property and other things, you know, machines and everything, and people, all of the people, not Thomas Jackamai, he's already gone. Does it include the directors at the moment? We'll see. But if you read that on the face of it, actually Coursera is saying we've acquired we could infer all of these things. And there is going to be another statement from Corsair on that. However, and I'll come back to it later, I think Corsair think people, I think there's a difference between Endor AG and Fanatec. And from a consumer perspective, I'm not sure that's the case. Third question. If consumers purchase Fanatec equipment in this period, will items in stock still be delivered to them? I'm going to be really honest with you. I have a moral issue with news sites reporting on this saying fantex has gone insolvent fantex has been liquidated not easy been liquidated and the first link in their website is an affiliate link saying buy fantex products now i have a slight i have a still quandary but with youtubers who are still coming up buy fantex products now use my link buy fantex products when the company's literally end of is literally being liquidated i don't think that's responsible i have affiliate links for other products I guarantee, this is my promise to you, if I see any of those are going to liquidation, I will let you know and say, don't buy any products on them right now because there, there's an issue with the company. So I have a moral issue with that. I would do, I would personally do it differently. But as you know, I'm really sort of involved and interested in these sort of financial issues with companies. So the answer, Corsair will ensure all customer orders are fulfilled as quickly and efficiently as possible. The acquisition will not hinder customers from receiving their orders of Fantech products. Now, it's an interesting one again, if you kind of read between the lines, because at the moment, this transaction has not been completed, as I understand it. Um, we'll find out more in the coming days. So when we say, it says Corsair will ensure, it's like, okay, when Corsair come in, they're, they're gonna ensure. That's Corsair's promise when they've bought what they're gonna buy. As of right now, I'm seeing lots of comments still People saying, I can't, um, the Fantech website's not accepting payment. Um, I don't have a tracking number. Uh, the website's not working in this country. Weird adverts popping up. Like, there's all sorts of confusion right now about the Fantech buying process. So I would still say, don't buy Fantech products right now, the day I'm releasing this. In the next few days, there will be more information. I'll let you know, and there'll be more clarity. I'm not saying never buy Fantech products. I'm just saying right now, this is such a critical moment and still Thomas Jack and Mike come out of the wings and say this whole thing is illegal and whatnot. So Corsair will ensure all custom orders are fulfilled as quickly and as efficiently as possible. The acquisition will not hinder customers from receiving their orders of Fantech products. Question number four. The state, this is my question. The statement says that Endor AG's real estate remains up for sale. Will Corsair continue to operate the existing Fanatec office as part of the acquisition? I have lots of comments on my videos. I have some employees of Fanatec 
who say they don't like my videos. Um, so I wanted to ask a question for you guys, you guys watching. The existing office in Lanshut from which Fantasy operates will continue to be used by the Fantech team. So if you're a Fantech employee watching this or contractor, Corsair say they're going to continue to operate in Landshut in Germany. So big commitment there to Germany. The existing office, which I've been to, seen people working really hard, really cool office, will continue to be used by the Fantech team. What about the new office with the go-kart track? I hear you scream as you smash the subscribe button, like button, if you're finding this informative. Will the new Fanatec office with the go-kart track be transferred to Corsair as part of the acquisition? Now it starts to get a bit more interesting, doesn't it? Corsair is not buying this new building and it is still owned by Endor. Now I want to come back to that point I said I was going to talk about at the beginning of the video. I feel like Corsair think you and me really know every single difference between Endor AG and Fanatec. I would say, and let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with this, we buy Fanatec products. We go onto fanatec.com and we buy Fanatec products have a Fanatec logo on it. The only time we come across Endor AG is when the we probably look at our warranty or like look at the name of the company we just bought it from and it says Endor AG. And we get an email that says, Endor, what the, what's Endor AG? Oh, it's Fanatec. So to us, Endor AG and Fanatec are the same. So when we see Endor AG is going into liquidation, to us, it's like Fanatec, the, bit, the business is going into liquidation. We're not seeing these subtle differences. And the fact that Corsair say they're buying the Fanatec brand, but they're not buying the, off, the new Fanatec office, is a distinction that's a, that's a little bit confusing because Corsair could have just bought the entire Endor AG, the shares in it, I presume, or that might have been difficult because of the current, you'd have to buy, you have to force buying Thomas Jack and my shares. So actually they couldn't buy the shares. So therefore they've had to buy assets out of insolvency. And this is where some people think there's a big conspiracy. There's been some kind of conspiracy where the new board kicked Thomas Jack and Meyer out, the majority shareholder, sort of come about this situation of insolvency, being able, therefore, to have an insolvency practitioner who can sell these assets to Corsairs. That's a big conspiracy. So anyway, that, this video is about you, me, customers, consumers. Next question. Does Corsair intend to run Fanatec as a fully-fledged sim racing hardware brand, or is Corsair just acquiring elements of Fanatec to absorb into existing operations? Which I think is a fair question, because... Well, I just said, if they're going to be able to buy certain assets and not others, are they just going to buy some IP and then, you know, will there be a Corsair wheel that comes out and it looks suspiciously like the McLaren one? Here's the answer from Corsair. Corsair has bought all assets related to Fantech products and people. Landship will remain as headquarters sim racing. More to follow. A statement will be released in the coming days, which will give further details and information. I really hope you appreciate me trying to get this information for you. I read your comments. You're my subscribers. You're the people that power this channel. So I hope you found that informative and maybe even reassuring because that, by the way, was my objective. When I went to Fanatec in January, I wanted to get answers that would inform and reassure. And that's why I asked very honest, very piercing, very direct questions. And in the end, it shone a light on something really ugly. But that's my intention then, that's my intention now. So I appreciate you, thanks so much. And there'll be another video probably coming tomorrow on this channel, so keep an eye out for that.